Happy Sunday afternoon and welcome to How Greens Can Get Things Done. My name is Michael O'Neill and I'm your friendly Green Party of New York organizer. And at this time of the week, I talk to you about tips and tricks for how you can get things done as a green, whether it's participating in issue movements, running for office, making sure that your local organization is the best it can be. And uh, last week we talked about how to defend the Green Party ballot line from nefarious attempts to co-opt it through the opportunity to ballot process, which is a mechanism that the corporate parties use to try to steal our ballot line. And before that we talked about power analysis and how to do a strategic power analysis to get a sense of how much power do you need to organize within your community or within your group to fight for the changes or initiatives or to win the campaign that you want. And we've also talked about practical things like graphic design, uh, how to petition to get on the ballot yourself as a green. And so I just really want to thank you for joining me this week and every week. And please share this broadcast. Uh, please share the archives. We are working on getting the archives up on YouTube and getting them on uh, gpny.org, which is the home website for the Green Party of New York. And uh, we've got some high quality, high definition archives of these episodes that are just a little bit better to look at than the recordings that Facebook records. And so once we get those up on YouTube, we'll have those lined up on Green Party of New York uh, website at gpny.org, along with all the links to references and tools and software that I have referenced in these broadcasts. So this week, we're going to talk about how to navigate the Green Party of New York and also the National Green Party in terms of what are your rights as a Green? What uh, what mechanisms do you have to try and uh, get initiatives passed or to join committees? Just who are the people who are elected to represent you and other Greens within the Green Party of New York and on the Green Party National Committee? And before we get to that, though, I want to announce that uh, the Green Party National Annual Meeting is actually next week in Newark, New Jersey. It's going to be at the New Jersey Institute of Technology. And it's the annual meeting and uh, there's going to be all kinds of exciting workshops and uh, different presentations about initiatives and, and strategy that the Green Party National Party is considering for the next year. And so I will be live streaming from that annual meeting on Sunday afternoon, so I'm looking forward to that. I currently serve on the Green Party of New York's delegation to the National Committee, so I'll be there doing my duty as a National Committee member from New York, and also I'll be broadcasting for the Green News Network, and you can find their, uh, the uh, GNN Facebook page at uh, Watch GNN is the page on Facebook. It also will be live streaming from the Dr. Jill Stein page on Facebook. So look for workshops and other presentations uh, being live streamed from the annual national meeting of the Green Party, not just from the sources I just mentioned, but also I, uh, from the National Green Party, from their Facebook page or their YouTube page. Keep an eye on that. And uh, so if you're not able to get there, you'll be able to uh, see what's going on online. And archives, of course, will be available afterward. So, um, like I said, I will be broadcasting live from there, and I would like to make that interactive and maybe make that a chance to do some question and answer about maybe what has gone on during the annual meeting that week, any questions that you might have, and uh, give a report back from what's been discussed at the annual meeting and also any questions that you have about just previous episodes that I've done here and requests that you might have for future episodes. So again, that'll be next Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern time. I will be broadcasting live from Newark, New Jersey at the Green Party annual national meeting. And I look forward to that. But first, let's get down to business here. Um, so how to get things done 
within the state party and national party? Uh, what are your rights? Who's representing you? These are questions that are not always obvious, or, or the answers are not always obvious. And you have people who are interested in the Green Party, they're registered to vote as Green, they're interested in getting involved, and then they don't necessarily know kind of how the mechanisms of the organization work. So we're going to run down those here now, and I'll try to make it as user-friendly as possible. And of course, uh, your questions and comments are welcome at michael at gpny.org or just in the comment stream on this Facebook post. So let's bring up the magic window here. All right, so we're going to start with the Green Party of New York website. I'm at gpny.org and right now we're on the officers and committees page. And so if you go to about and then officers and committees, it brings you to this page. And the first thing to know is uh, who are the elected representatives of the party here in New York. And on the executive committee, we have two co-chairs in New York State. And we have uh, Gloria Matera and Peter Lavinia, who are currently serving as co-chairs. And uh, their contact information is available on the page. We have our secretary, uh, Ursula Rosam. She, uh, her, her secretary email is also listed on the page. And then our treasurer, Eric Jones, uh, who has the laudable and honorable job of keeping our finances right and making sure that we are in compliance with state and federal guidelines as a political body that raises funds for campaigns and for political operations. And uh, especially if you have any questions about a donation that um, either didn't go through or if you want to change your supporting membership dues or a recurring donation, he is the guy to get in touch with. And I just want to say that uh, Ursula Rosam is also a delegate to the National Committee representing the Youth Caucus. So if you are an under 35 Green in New York State, she is a great person to reach out to if you have any questions about how to get involved with the Youth Caucus. And then uh, on our executive committee, we have at-large members who are not party officers per se, but they are part of the executive committee and participate in the day-to-day -day decision making duties for the party, decisions that have to be made between our quarterly state committee meetings. So we've been talking about the executive committee and the officers. They're elected by the state committee which is the highest decision-making body for the Green Party of New York. All decisions by the executive committee are eventually vetted and approved by the state committee, which meets quarterly. And we also congregate online for the occasional online vote for those things that cannot wait for a quarterly meeting, but are too important for just the executive committee to decide on their own. And then we also have a discussion list and, and things like that. All right, and then there's me, that guy over there, uh, the guy shouting into the microphone. Uh, I'm the staff organizer. I also am on the state committee. And we have contact information for all of the state committee members here on this page. Again, that's gpny.org under about and then the officers and committee section. So you can reach out to state committee members from your county or if your county is not yet organized, uh, it's not yet affiliated with the state party, you can reach out to people who are nearby your county and they can offer you advice about how to affiliate, maybe partnering up for a regional event. Uh, we would love to see more of those happening in New York State. Or maybe you just have a question about uh, what the state party is up to Maybe you have an idea, and I'm going to talk in a moment about how you, as a registered Green, can actually put items before the state committee for the state committee to vote on. So uh, right now, you know, we have, uh, well, we have fewer organized counties than we'd like to have, and we are working on getting more counties organized. And uh, I would love to talk to you about that. If you are in a county or area that is not yet affiliated with the state party, we can talk to you about what the requirements are and provide you with tools and resources and advice on how to make that happen. That's how we win, is by getting more organized bodies of greens across the state who have 
knowledge and tools and skills and resources to run effective campaigns for office and also to participate and show leadership within the vital social movements that are the engine of change in our society. So uh, we talked about the executive committee for the state, then the state committee for New York, which is the highest decision-making body. And then we also have representatives to the national committee, uh, which I mentioned earlier. But, but before we get into the national committee, I wanted to uh, point your attention to, what did I want to point your attention to? Oh, right. Um, the uh, how to put items before the state committee uh, as a green. So you have a few options and I uh, wrote down a few and I just want to uh, bring those up in my, my browser here real quick. Um, Within the Green Party of New York State rules, basically, you have um, a process for putting together a, um, a proposal, right, that the state committee would then uh, vote up or down on at, a, at the quarterly uh, meeting of the... Um, which uh, the next one's coming up on September 16th. Okay, so the uh, document that I created uh, where I had a little screen capture of the relevant rules for how to do that appears to have disappeared. So uh, I can do it from memory and that's not necessarily a problem but I, I find that it's generally better if you all have something visual that you can follow along with on screen. So I'm just taking a moment to bring that up here, I'm trying to find it in my browser's history. Aha, perfect, all right, so let's go back to the magic window. Right, so we're talking about how you as a green who maybe does not serve on the state committee can actually put items before the Green Party of New York State Committee uh, to consider, decide on, what have you. You don't just have to wait for an elected Green Party State Committee member to take up your idea. Uh, you can actually put it in front of the body yourself. So the State Committee meets quarterly and the next meeting is actually coming up on Saturday, September 16th, and that'll be in Troy, New York. And those meetings are, in fact, open to rank and file Greens to attend. So uh, we'll, we can put out more details about that event as it comes forward. But if you're interested and maybe you're in the Capital District area or adjacent area, uh, the next Green Party of New York State Committee meeting will be September 16th. That's a Saturday. It'll be shortly after the fall primary. And you as a Green uh, can can put a proposal or discussion item to the state committee through uh, a few different ways. You need to get it submitted at least 15 days prior to the meeting, and you need to have a recognized body within the New York State Party endorse your proposal. And you could get it endorsed by the state executive committee by submitting it to the county officers and seeing if the executive committee is willing to take up your proposal or uh, through an affiliated county organization. So if you belong to an affiliated county organization, then you can uh, have that body vote to endorse it and then again submit it to the state secretary at least 15 days before the meeting and then, then it will be put on the agenda for a decision. Maybe you're not in a county that's affiliated. You could lobby an adjacent county or another county that you think might be sympathetic to your proposal. Or you can even get a working committee to endorse your proposal. So that would be like the web committee or the rules and policies committee or the um, fundraising committee, for example. So we have a number of subcommittees, you could say, that do work for the state party on some of the tasks that I just mentioned. So you could get one of them to endorse your proposal. 
and we are getting better at listing the activities and contact information for those various uh, working committees on the website so you all can participate more and so that you can see what people are up to and uh, how people are improving things within the state party. But in the meantime, you could reach out to state committee members and ask them how to get in touch with any working committee that you might be that you think might be interested in your proposal. But you don't even have to go through a working committee. You could actually just get any seven members of the state committee to endorse your proposal. And then it will go before the state committee to be voted on at that meeting. And again, the next one would be September 16th. And you don't even actually have to go through an elected state committee member. You could just get uh, 50 enrolled greens wherever you are to endorse your proposal. That's a fair amount of greens, 50, right? But it is possible. You could describe it almost like our version of like a citizen initiative, right? Um, that uh, registered greens can put a proposal before the state committee to be voted on just as rank and file greens if you get enough of them to sign up and uh, endorse that proposal. And like I said, the next uh, Green Party of New York State Committee meeting will be in Troy, New York on September 16th. If you're interested in attending, uh, email me at michael at gpny.org or just leave a comment on this uh, Facebook live stream page and we can give you more information about uh, that meeting. So that is a bit about how the state party works. Again, you've got your state committee, which is the highest decision-making body within the Green Party of New York. It has representatives from each affiliated county organization. And then we have the executive committee, which has officers, uh, co-chairs, secretary, treasurer, and then at-large members who do some of the day-to-day -day administrative business uh, when the state committee is not actually meeting. And then you have mechanisms by which county organizations, uh, working committees uh, and rank and file greens and uh, small groups of state committee members can actually put initiatives or proposals before the state committee to vote on. Now, uh, getting to the national level. Like I said, we have the annual national meeting coming up this week. Keep an eye on uh, gp.org. That's the national party website for information on that. Uh, there will be live streams both coming from the National Party, also from, uh, like I said, the Green News Network and uh, the Jill Stein Facebook page. And then I will do my regular How Greens Can Get Things Done broadcast live from there at 4 p.m. Eastern Time on Sunday. Now, um, you have New York State representatives to the Green Party National Committee. So the National Committee uh, just like our state committee is made up of representatives from counties, the national committee is made up of representatives from states and uh, territories, I believe. Um, so your New York representatives are Danny Liebling, Gloria Matera, myself, Gil Obler, Craig Seaman, uh, Anya Sitska, and Julia Willebrand. And we are currently serving as the New York delegation to the national committee for this term. And so what are some things that is good to keep track of at the national level for a green such as yourself? Well, the newsroom on the national website uh, has a lot of great stories from green party organizations around the country that might give you ideas for the work that you're doing locally. You just might find them interesting. It's, it's good to see like what are greens doing on the ground in uh, movement hotspots that maybe you've heard about through you know Facebook posts and through the news, but uh, you want to know like well what's the Green Party doing in those areas? And so it's great to keep an eye on the national website again at, at gp.org to find out what different state and local Green Parties are up to. So when you go to the newsroom, uh, first you uh, get a segment of recent tweets. And then uh, the sections that I find most fascinating are the uh, press releases section, 
you've got announcements from Arkansas, you've got announcements about the annual national meeting, you've got uh, Indiana, um, Virginia, um, New York City, Washington DC, uh, Philadelphia, New Orleans. So it's a great way to keep track of what Greens are up to across the country. And you might see something that's inspiring to your own local work. And that's a great thing. So um, the next item is uh, state and local news. And uh, that's a, a little bit more of what I was talking about with you know finding out what uh, different Greens are up to. These are more like announcements that aren't necessarily a great fit for like formal press releases and uh, announcements for candidate forums, um, uh, state and local initiatives to uh, declare independence from fossil fuels, uh, all kinds of stuff. And then if you want to find out where greens are actually showing up in in the news, in in publications, whether online or what have you, you can check out the in the news link, and uh, you can see that oh well, there's a uh, New York State's Howie Hawkins, right? Uh, he's running for mayor. Uh, so this is a clip from a, a Syracuse coverage of his uh, re his current bid for mayor, along with other Green Party candidates in Syracuse who we are proud are running for office, and. Uh, it's, uh, it's a great way, like I said, to see how Greens are making news across the country. So that is gp.org, and that's the public-facing national party site. And as you can see in the menu, there's lots of different pages on this site. There are a lot of different sections, a lot of uh, different things to learn about the national party and its various initiatives. From my perspective, for rank and file greens that are out there, the sections that I've just gone over in the newsroom are what I find the most frequently interesting to greens who are on the ground. Because it's a way to find out what other greens are doing on the ground throughout other parts of the country. And I find that fascinating and I think we should be supporting what greens are doing in other states and learning from them and seeing what might work to boost our campaigns and our activism here. Now, there's a resource that the state, uh, the National Party, sorry, provides that I think you will find really helpful, especially if you are considering either running for office or playing a key camp, uh, campaign role in a bid for elected office. Now, this is a National Party website, but it's at a different URL. This is kind of like the housekeeping site for the National Party and it's at gpus.org. So the public facing site, the you know, site for uh, just everyday consumption is at gp.org, but the housekeeping site is gpus.org. And if you go to a uh, national committee, or actually no, I should say uh, you go to, um, committees, and then it's the Coordinated Campaign Committee, right? So, so uh, well, I'll, I'll just go ahead and go to the, the home page here so you can find your way to it. But basically, the Coordinating Campaign Committee has for quite some time now been conducting conference calls where they bring on experienced campaigners who have run for office to talk about their experiences and present on the necessary skills for running for elected office in a competitive way. And, uh, you know, they've been doing the tips and tricks for Greens for a lot longer than I have, and I have massive respect for that effort. And this is one of the first things that I try to point Greens to uh, if you're looking for different resources. So if you, you go to gpus.org, you click on the committees section, and then we're going to be looking at the coordinated campaign committee page. And then they have, uh, right, so we're on the committee section, and then we're going to go down uh, to the Coordinated Campaign Committee, also known as the CCC. And then they have a link to the archive of these conference calls. And some of them even have links to the uh, resource materials that were 
from those calls, whether it's a PowerPoint deck or items that you can download. And you have some of the best, most experienced and technical campaigners from in the country talking about their experiences, talking about what it takes to run for office and win and, and really compete. So uh, there's a link on the Coordinated Campaign Committee page for their monthly webinars and conference calls, and it breaks it down by subject. And I, if I were you, I would put this on your regular listening feed, uh, treat it almost like a podcast, and just start learning the basics about you know how to identify voters and supporters, how to talk to media, how to use social media, um, how to develop a campaign plan. So here's the CCC webinars page, and you know you've got. Uh, what do you do in the beginning aspects of your campaign? Uh, what special considerations should women take when running for office? Um, all, uh, what do you do after you've run for office? When your campaign is over, what steps do you take? So we have years of fantastic uh, presentations, like I said, from some of the best and brightest green experts in green campaigns and uh, it's, it's a fantastic resource. I highly recommend you know, doing a deep dive or just listen to once a week, and then you can keep track of the uh, conference calls as they happen, and you can actually call in and, and join them. So that, again, is at gpus.org. So um, we're coming up on, on 4.30 here, and uh, just to wrap up, like I said, you've, you've got um, you've got different mechanisms that you can use as a Green to uh, enhance your experience of this party, your participation in this party. We want it to be a member-led, member-run party. And part of that means learning how it works, learning uh, who your representatives are and how they became your representatives. What rights do you have to uh, work with those representatives to uh, have decisions and proposals or initiatives be put before them and so that your voice can be heard and this is both at the state and national level. So I hope I've been able to uh, clarify some of the pathways that you have for engaging with your Green Party representatives and I've tried to point out some resources that are available to you um, at, at the national level and, and also uh, how to get in touch with Greens at the uh, state level. If you really want to do a deep dive on this, if you go back to the um, gpny.org officers and committees page, at the very bottom there, you can actually download a copy of our state rules where it gives the, you know, the actual party rules describing some of the mechanisms that I talked about in terms of uh, what you can use to actually put decisions before our state committee body, which we try to you know, make as a transparent and democratic decision-making body as possible. So if you get 50 Greens to endorse something, then you can put it before the state committee or seven current state committee members or any county organization or um, working committee that is officially recognized by GPNY. Um, so I'm really looking forward to talking to you live from Newark, New Jersey, from the Green Party N annual national meeting. Uh, following that week, I want to do a deep dive on how to conduct a ranked choice voting election, which is something that every body of Greens needs to know how to do. Ranked choice voting is the voting reform mechanism that is part of the Green Party of New York platform. It is the form of voting that is proscribed by our party rules, and it is a fantastic way of conducting elections in a much more democratic uh, manner than a simple winner-take-all system. But it is a little bit more complicated than just counting up the votes and seeing who has the most votes right? So uh, it's totally learnable. It might be something that's unfamiliar to you, but it's something that is, is it's totally accessible. And so I'm going to walk you through how to conduct a ranked choice voting election, both using uh, software that's available and also by doing a hand count. So that'll be in two weeks. 
And I want to make that as participatory as possible as well, because I suspect that people might have questions while they're watching. So uh, tune in next week, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, for a live broadcast from the annual national meeting. And then uh, the week following that for a ranked choice voting extravaganza here on how Greens can get things done. My name is Michael O'Neill. I'm your friendly Green Party of New York organizer. You can reach me at michael at gpny.org or leave a comment on this Facebook post that's part of this live stream. I really appreciate you watching. Please do share these live streams with your green comrades and allies and friends. And I just want to thank everyone again for watching. I hope you have a, a beautiful Sunday and uh, I will see you next week.